This experiment is about making a water timer using plastic bottles. We need two plastic bottles with caps, two straws, tacket, and puncher. Get the cap from the bottle. Use puncher to make two holes through this side of the cap. Check the straw's diameter, then use the puncher that can make the same hole size. Punch the holes. Make sure that you are wearing a glove. Also, put something under the cap to protect the table. Be careful at all times. After making two holes on each cap, remove the glove. Put the caps together by using tack it. Get some tack it and stick it onto the bottom of a cap. Cover the whole cap. Get the puncher, then let it pass through each hole. This way, we will know where the holes are. Get the other cap. Align the holes on both caps. Stick the caps together then push them hard against each other. This way, water will not leak later. The holes are covered with tacket, so use the puncher to clear them. Get a straw and insert it through a hole. Remove the extra tacket. Move the straw so that it is long on one side and short on the other. Get another straw and insert it through the other hole. Remove the extra tacket. Move the straw so that it is short on the side with long straw and long on the side with short straw. Notice the small gaps near the holes. Use tacket to seal the gaps. This way, water will not leak later. When putting tacket, make sure not to bend the straws. Do the same on the other side. Press the tacket. Add more to seal the gaps. Get the plastic bottles. Insert the straw into one of the bottles, then screw the cap. Push the cap to tighten the seal. Fill the other bottle with water. Make sure that the beaker spout is close to the bottle's mouth. Also, pour slowly. These will prevent water from spilling.
get the other bottle. Insert the straw into the bottle with water, then screw the cap. Push the cap to tighten the seal. Next, test for water leak. If water leaks around this area, use more tacket for sealing. Put one hand on each bottle. Start the timer and at the same time invert the bottle. Observe how the water moves to the bottle at the bottom. Stop the timer once all the water goes to the bottle at the bottom. It takes about 23.87 seconds to empty the bottle. Restart the timer and at the same time invert the bottle. Stop the timer once all the water goes to the bottle at the bottom. It takes about 23.24 seconds to empty the bottle. This water timer we made can be used as a real timer.